All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, symmetry and equations, and we'll look at even and odd functions. Well, basically, even function is an even function is basically if you have uh, f of x, this is equal to uh, just basically f of negative x. So it basically, uh, if you have if you were to graph just a random graph, is x. This is y. And then uh, this is the negative side, this is the positive. So for all the negative x values, you're going to have, say, like this. It's going to be the exact same. So it's, it's symmetric by the y there. And then if you have an odd function, this one will, you'll have, if you have, let's say, f of negative x, this will just equal to negative f of x. And this, yeah, this is for the negative side. And then if you were to graph it, it would basically be like, you'd have something like this. And then it's uh, symmetric, and then this one's going to be the negative. Of, if you go to the negative side, it's going to be a negative of this. If this is f of x, then on the negative side, it'll just be a negative f of x. So it'll be the exact same. Um, so pretend it looks the same. But yeah, this, this would be negative f of x. So it's kind of symmetric by, um, yeah, if you, you would draw a line down here, it's symmetric by that. So let's look at a couple examples. Okay, example one. Well, an uh, easy example of it is, uh, let's just say you have um, y, y equals f of x or whatever. Y, the same thing, equals x squared. And uh, if you put negative x in there, you'll have, let's say, f of negative x. This one will just equal to uh, negative x squared. And this would just equal to x squared. So as you can see, uh, this is the same, Neg f of negative x equals f of the negative x, so this one is even. And yeah, and you know what the, this function looks like, it's just a parabola. So it's just a parabola, so that's y, that's x, and this is uh, x squared. So that's how it looks like, and if you were to graph, let's say, y equals, um, let's say, x cubed. If you were to put y of negative x, this one would equal to, well, basically negative x uh, cubed, and then this one, all, this one would just equal to negative x cubed, and as you can see, it's a negative of this, so this one's odd. And then again, if you were to graph it, you'll have something like this: this is x, this is y. Uh, it would be something like this, and then this would be just goes down like that. So that's x cubed. Okay, now we'll uh, look at uh, decide if um, which ones of these equations are going to be positive. I mean, uh, negative. I mean, odd or even. Well, example. Yeah, we'll just look at these. Uh, let's let's look at these three examples. Example one. Let's call this one. Uh, we'll go f of x equals x five plus x. Then we'll go. Uh, let's go to example two. I'm gonna. Then we will try to find out if they're odd or even. And this one is negative x4. Example 3, this one will have, let's call it h of x, equals 2x minus x squared. So if we were to look at the first one, let's go to, um, so we've got to find out, are they, uh, are they odd or even? Or even. This is just a little exercise in this. Um, so we'll look at, uh, let's say, f of x. Now uh, we'll go to example one. So we'll have e x one. We'll go. Okay, so example one, we'll just go. <coughs> if we put a f of negative x inside, so this is all you do to check it. Just put a f of negative x. Then we'll have uh, negative x uh, to the five plus negative x. And then this one would equal to, this is a, uh, this is odd, like this top here. So then it's just going to be negative x to the 5. And then this is negative x. And then this would equal to negative, if you take the negative out, uh, plus x. So as you can see here, this is f of x. And then this would just be, yeah, this is negative f of x. So it equals negative x. So then number 1 is odd. Yeah, so the, the yeah, number 1 is odd. Okay, and let's go to number two. Ex two. Again, you just put the f of negative x inside, and then compare what happens. And this one is there, so that you'll have 
equals to one minus negative x to the power of four, and this is uh, even, this top part. If it's even, then you're gonna have, this is gonna be become, well, basically positive. So this is gonna be one minus x four, and this equals to f of x. So again, this is gonna be even. Now, if you look at this one, this one's a tricky one. Let's go to example three. Example three, you'll have, yeah, two x, so we'll put f of, uh, or this is, this would be, we'll just write this, this is g, this is, um, we'll erase this. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this was g, this is h. So if you put h of uh, negative x, this, is, this will just equal to two negative x, and then minus, this one's gonna be, yeah, x, uh, negative x uh, squared. So what you'll have here, this one you'll have uh, negative two x, and this is gonna be positive, so then this will be negative x squared, and, uh, as, and then this one, if you take the negatives out, this will be negative x plus x squared. And as you can see, this is, this is not, this is not uh, h of x. So from there, it's uh, not even or odd. So this is just a simple way of defining if it's even and odd, and this, this can actually help when you're graphing or whatnot, so then all you need to do is look at one side. So if we were to graph these, I'll just uh, gr graph it. And so if we were to graph, I'll just drag this in here. We go to, again, our Google search. And uh, what was the first equation? We'll just um, scroll up here. Yeah. Okay. So if we were to graph this one, Okay, so we'll put uh, x, we'll write this down, x to the power of 5, you don't even have to write graph, plus x, this one is equal to, yeah, so you have a curve like that, we could even zoom in, yeah, we'll zoom in here, yeah, yeah, so there, there's uh, x to the 5, that's how it looks like, and uh, this one is an odd, odd function, as you can see there, and then if you were to go, let's just zoom out, and then let's just uh, scroll up and type the second equation, which is one minus, we'll just go and, or just put a comma, one minus x to the four, and then yeah, there you go, there's the, the red one is one minus x to the four, as you can see, it's, it's, um, it's uh, even, even function, it's symmetric by, it's symmetric, symmetric by the uh, y-axis. And if you get the last one, this one is just going to be uh, 2 times x minus what is it, x to the squared. Yeah, that's what it is. And then this one, enter. Yeah, so then the, this one's over there. You're going to have to zoom out, actually. Zoom out. How this one going to look? Yeah, this one's really big, so that you could zoom out. And as you could see, yeah, it's actually... Yeah, actually, yeah, it, it looks like it is an uh, even one if you zoom out, as you can see if you zoom out. See, it looks like it's even, but uh, it's just that it's, the scale is really big here. If you were to erase these, let's go erase the x to the 5. I'll just erase that. And as you can see, it's not symmetric. So if you go down here, it's actually symmetric by the uh, y equals 1 axis there. But uh, in here, it's, it's, it's not symmetric by the origin. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. Well, that's uh, even in odd functions. Um, hopefully, you learned. And I'll just scroll up here. It's basically even in odd, odd functions. It's the f of negative x equals f of x, and yeah, that's basically even in odd. Well, hopefully, you learned, and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.